So this follows on. But sexy, sexy gear, sexy. See, sexy, sexy, sexy boots. Anyway, yeah. This has got to be the last day of this roll. I think they're having a dalliance. Two vehicles coming down with two dip people in them. You see, that's okay. That would be the next thing, but it's like, yeah. So like I'm walking along and this thing comes. And when you're saying anything in society for a long time, There's this feeling of negative, oh, I can't stand that phrase, but it's just even pretty sane, reasonably well-educated people you're speaking with. You know, I get it with the bloody Mormon. I get it even with, seriously, it's like, yeah, they're, they're, they're wanting to chip in, but you, you know, you're a bit silly to think like that. Or, you know, I've had to deal with, um, nobody's ever even the slightest bit mo for a moment suggested I've abused in any way my child but it's like and I know I haven't but it's like I've had 14 years of like they probably think that somehow I walked away or I went wonky or not for a second I spent huh, I spent two thirds of the last 14 years of my waking hours with my head in some scheming or other or somewhere or other how can I create this little bridge how could I is there some way I could even slightly trick somebody else into helping me? I even went through five years of, well, if I did find anyone to get married to, then that would be a really good way of like, hey, come on. No one else is, likes me. No one else is going to come. You've got to take pity. You've got to come to my wedding and be the witness. Anyway, but being serious. Now, so this environmental thing. Now, I wasn't looking. You see, I'd kind of like, it's too... It's too energy draining, it's too not fun to talk about the environment because people are looking at you like, well, you're thinking, you know, talking about truly cutting back on the natural resources that we go through in our lives. It's just, it's, no one's going to listen. It's just totally impracticable, you know? I mean, never mind people coming to the same place, probably from not very far away, in two different motors. You know, that's a whole next level, but thinking about it, yeah. Basically, the richest, the father, the, the richest friend, uh, father of a friend, and th now that's irrelevant, that's you know, just of, of a hundred people known, sort of not just working for them, flying around silly Simon Fry's executive fucking king, yeah? But of a hundred people know randomly, just in a personal way in life, probably the richest one, because most of my friends were ordinary humble, yeah, just is quite content. You know, wouldn't think twice about going out in a town, a small town, Upton upon Seven, where they had one of the largest houses, although he'd probably bought it decades ago reasonably cheaply. Anyway, I'm, I'm talking too much. Yeah. One of the, you know, the absolute scions of the community who a few years later becomes the official sheriff, high sheriff, who's the Queen's representative in that county. He's actually, that was his job. He, it's a voluntary position, but it's like almost a full-time job. He's wandering around. I mean, he wouldn't have bothered. That's my repair. Or rather the, right. It's like, yeah, wandering around in the tattiest clothing that had been uh, owned 30 or 40 years it wasn't like it wasn't just it just wasn't even a thing but if I were to say to any of my ordinary middle-class thoughtful friends those that don't wish to hate all green people I know a few of them do you know yes that's something that we could achieve something if people were just somehow intelligently putting it out. They're just like, no, there's no hope. We've got, everybody is just, no, everybody must have so many different changes of clothing. But 
that's a great way, that's a great rejoinder to that. So at least it's valid. Because even I am going around for the last few years thinking, there's no point talking about reducing consumerism. There's no point because... Yeah. I did a great little thing once where a judge was going on about changing schools and I'd happened to have heard Nigel Lawson on Desert Island Discs. I'm sure you can still hear it. And he made the comment, well, I went to about 12 or 13 different schools in my childhood. It clearly did me a lot of harm. He'd become the Chancellor of the Exchequer. So when judges and social workers, uh, Nazi, and this is the definition of Nazi, you will be in court where a judge or social worker is there saying, well, this child's now been to two different schools and it looks like this family is so unstable it's going to have to go to a third so we're going to have to get paid a huge great big £50,000 commission to put the child in care I just like and I, I, I would try to tell them, the women I would yeah, just tell them, just give them this one line you know, where you can point to him the guy sitting next to me, heard on Nigel uh, Desert Island Discs, one of your lot one of you aristocrat class Oh, I went to 13 different schools in my childhood and it clearly did me a lot of harm. You have to use their weapon against them, their class, their people, their... Hugh Derbyshire, lovely, so friendly, lovely, charming, nothing in the slightest bit weird or eccentric. Went around in tatters. There you go. That's good, that. That's a worthwhile... Even if it's taken... Well, I wasn't planning. I didn't want anything. My heart's broken. Why would I want anything? But at least it's been a productive year. I hadn't thought about that before. I hadn't thought about him for many years. That is not a querulous rejoinder. That is a correct rejoinder. Deal with that, and maybe we can start talking to people who go in two different cars to the same destination. Of course it can't be dealt with just like that. Change can take a tremendous amount of time. But you could have a campaign. Rich fishermen people no longer buy any new clothes. That would get on Radio 4 and blah, blah, blah. Mm. But it has to be powerful. It has to be so powerful. Unfortunately, because people are just apathetic. And they don't have poetical imagination either. I mean, for example, holy bits in your clothing, they're interesting. Now I'm being silly, but see, it's been worthwhile, actually. And I'm not acting. I actually feel that inside. It's like, oh, wow, yeah, I've got, something's come out of a, year, a wasted year. It's not a, it's not a new thought, but it's like, that's a worthwhile thought, useful utilitarian in society to have for that to have that those two dots have been joined and I had no idea those two dots were even on the same page hmm. oh well there we go goodbye Ralph Schism I hope I can't I can't be uh, I, uh, uh, uh.